Alas, matter, what is it? Well, for one thing, it makes up our universes, and people talk about it all the time, and quite frankly, it surrounds us every day. But one thing's for sure, there are more than three states of matter. So, what's the matter with matter? No pun intended. Let's start off with the big three that everyone should know. Solid, liquid, and gas. A solid has a fixed volume where the atoms have a fixed position, such as ice. When the ice melts, it turns into a liquid, and the liquid takes the shape of any container that it's put in. When the water evaporates, it goes into a gas state. The atoms in a gas state move around aimlessly and quickly. A gas will also fill up any container or space that it is put in. So, those are the big three. What about the others? Well, of course, there is plasma. Plasma is essentially a hot ionized gas. The word ionized means you gain or lose an electron from the atom. Now, you may be asking, why is plasma not just listed under the gas category instead of having its own fancy category? Well, the reason is, is that the properties of plasma are so different than what is called a neutral gas. And the word neutral gas means that in order to have a reaction, you need to have another chemical to create it, whereas plasma can do it by itself. Also, another difference is that plasma has electrons that are positive and negative, so electrons are farther away from the nucleus, whereas a regular gas, such as neon, for example, all the electrons are bound to it. Now we are going to dive even deeper into matter. Bose-Einstein condensate, in simple terms, is diluted gas that has been cooled with lasers down to absolute zero, which is 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. Basically, its main purpose is to show that bosons can obtain the lowest quantum state, in which microscopic phenomena, especially wave function interference, becomes apparent. Next up is electron degenerant matter. It is basically highly compressed matter, which is often found in star cores. The degenerate matter is composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons, as opposed to molecules. Inside degenerate gas, all quantum states are filled up with Fermi energy, which is composed of fermions, a subatomic particle. Lastly, quark gluon plasma. It has the highest energy levels than all the other states. This state of matter is like the foundation of the super-resembling condition right before when the universe had started. Quark gluon plasma is a part of the quantum chromodynamics. What is a quantum chromodynamic, you may ask? Well, in a nutshell, it is the interaction between quarks and gluons. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will be out with another video shortly. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and share. P.S. Check out our podcast on our channel.